Hi, I am going to show you how to put your clay tile roofs or cement tile roofs, uh, solar mounts and rails up. I am using the following tools and mounts. I'm using the uh, Iron Ridge um, XT100 rails and uh, I live in Southern California. That's way overdoing it. But the reason why I'm using that is because the price is better uh, for for my application if I go with the heavier duties I don't need as many mounts and uh, since we don't have snow pack here that's not a big deal because there's not as much weight without snow so the, rid the uh, mounts that I am using are um, uh, are these mounts right here and uh, the uh, name will come quick mounts is what they are and I've tightened this bolt to make sure that that's square and then I have, uh, it comes just like that, has ridges on both sides. And we're going to put one underneath this tile here. And what I've done is I've found where my studs are. And then you can slide this over depending on where you want it to match up where your studs are. You can also move this bolt to here or here to make it easier to match those things up. Um, since I have got a lot of room to play with, I really don't have to move that. So these are the tools that I'm using. Um, I've got a uh, good um, hammer drill. I got a hammer. I got three pry bars or wedges. I mean, I'm using plastic roof cement, and I am using RC 600 terracotta color. These do come in color, so you want to get a good color, and uh, that's for glue. And then I'm using this uh, stud finder from Costco to double, triple check where my um, studs are. So let's get started. So. What I do is I find out what tile I'm going to put it on, and it's going to be this tile here. So what I do then is I use two mount, um, two pry bars, one pry bar to get underneath it. Get these out of the way. And then I'm going to use that pry bar to lift it up and put this all the way under. Okay. And then I'm going to use this pry bar just to lift that tile up. I can tell that tile is super loose, which isn't good. I'll probably end up gluing that in. Now, some tile roofs have got a uh, wooden, I don't know what they call it, a batten or something to hang the hinges on like this. You'll have to figure out what kind of roof you have. I think I have the cheaper kind of roof where they just nail, put a nail in each one of these tiles or what I have found most of these tiles. So with that being the case, I haven't found anything on YouTube, which is why I'm telling you. So this tile's got a nail either here or here. So what I do is I lift it up and I, oh, I can see there's definitely no nail there. So I push down here and I lift up and I can see, come get the camera under here. And I can see now that there's a nail right there. So what I do from here is I put, show this, I put this part of this pry bar, I put the nail in that hole, and then I'm going to twist it off. So I go ahead and get that nail on there, and now what I'm doing is I'm going to twist that nail off up so that it's no longer in my roof, and then back up, I'm going to slide that tile down, and there's my nail. Toss the nail, pull the tile down, and here's my tar paper. Come get a close-up of that. So in my tar paper, you're gonna find that I've got a hole right there. So I'm going to clean that hole and then my mount's gonna go here. So I'm gonna clean that, that area as well. So I just take my hand, I found the best way to do it. Oh look, there's a spare nail that didn't get used. I'll use that in a second. And I just use my hand to brush that down and feel for that hole. My particular roof I found that there's a lot of holes they didn't plug in but we don't get a lot of rain so it's not maybe as crucial as something else so this hole is actually right at the edge of tar paper that doesn't matter so we're gonna just plastic roof cement the crud out of it and uh, that's the key I think to keeping your roof waterproof so I put about that much roof cement on and if you come under here I can see my hole right there. I'm going to just push it up and in. And I'm just going to squeeze as much as I can down that hole. 
and I don't care if I use a lot of extra it just isn't that expensive and it's not worth it so I'm just smashing it to get it on there now I'm gonna just cover a nice big area and then I'm going to put a fiberglass or a gla what they call a glass paper uh, it comes in this roll like this it's very cheap and I've cut all these little rectangles I'm gonna put that on the over the hole and over the wedge and then I'm going to tap it in place and then I'm gonna get more cement and I'm gonna put it on top of that and I'm gonna do two layers on anything so anything that doesn't have a screw or a nail in a hole gets double layered like this okay now the bottom section I know roughly where my where my uh, hopefully you can see this but I know roughly where my stud is but I'm gonna push the button and this is gonna tell me my stud is right here so I hope we can you see those lights yeah okay so that's why I love this thing this is uh, I don't know can't remember who makes it but Costco is where I got it it's awesome no sliding it's a little big but I don't care okay so now my hook goes in here and I don't want to put it in these two holes because this kind of is makes it harder so I'm gonna put it in these two holes okay so it doesn't have to be right on the edge oh by the way I hammer this nail in Pat pull back out just to tap it a little bit I think they leave those up so that it do, they don't crack the tiles so I put that there and then I'm gonna double check my hole here again and it is right there where that is so I'm gonna put these two holes right in the way so I used to use a drill but the problem is on uh, with these new powerful drills you can't really tell um, where if you're hitting the stud or not because I've got MDF board underneath this so I like hitting a nail and I can tell very well that that is hitting the stud and that's the best way to do it when I'm pulling the nail out I'm using this as my pull not anything else because that will I don't want to break a tile so then I'm going to do it again in the upper hole definitely into the stud pull that back out and there's my pilot holes now I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to set it where it's going to go for reference because you get kind of confused after doing too many of these and I'm going to still put a lot of stuff in that hole more nobody does this online that I saw but I don't care again that's my model I don't care I want my roof to be completely secure and it's just not expensive this whole gallon 17 bucks and the time that it takes to do that almost no time at all as you can see okay drop this there now here's the important part you've got to find the holes before you put it in now the reason why I say that is these new powerful um, dang it, there goes. okay these new drills will just hammer it out no matter if I have a pilot hole in there or not so um, the next thing another safety thing is for me to dip this into the tar again or the plastic cement whatever you want to call it make sure I have plenty on there and then put it in again why do I do that again it's just not worth it not having a bunch of stuff on it so I've got more than enough more than enough is the way to go stick it on there and you should hear the, the drill ratchet all the way in like that otherwise you're not in a stud now I'm gonna center that to where I want it get it all the way down this actually will break this mount so if I can move this mount then I know I got to do it a little bit more okay now I can't do it move it I clean the drill off take my cement again and I'm gonna cover these things like nobody's business why you know why no leaks no problem and now no worries okay next part now that I've got this mound on here I've got to uh, I gotta kind of shape the shingle over the top of this um, they kind of say, oh, you, you may or may not have to do that. Um, Quick Hook says that every single time.
tile, I've had to do that. So here's how I measure. I set the tile here. Actually, I pull that one out. Set the tile where it's gonna go. Take a crayon and just mark where it's gonna be. On that corner is the most important. Okay, now I'm gonna take this over here. Follow me, McCade. And I'm using the wind as a direction. Get my safety glasses on. Safety, safety, safety. I probably should wear a mask, but this is a grinder I got from Harbor Freight, cheap, cheap. This is a blade that is from uh, a diamond tip blade from Harbor Freight as well. It's even broken, but with the friction, it still works fine. doesn't have to be pretty but that's what it looks like when you're done that's probably too much but it just doesn't matter as you'll see in just a second but what you have to measure for is that you don't hear it hitting the metal and that it doesn't rock up and down so you put the tile in place first and then I move it up and down what do I hear I don't feel any rocking and I hear the cement hitting the cement. So I know that that's just fine. Next thing I do is lift this tile next to it up slightly. And then I lift this tile, the, the same tile up a little bit or lock and glue it. This is RT600 OSI glue. Hopefully I've got enough in here. And you're really just throwing Come and get a picture of that. Plenty of glue underneath. As soon as that's done, pull it out, put your tile in place. Tomorrow that will be as hard as a rock. I can see that one's pretty loose too. I'm probably gonna glue that as well. So, um, pretty simple. That's how you put a hook on from quick quickmounts.com uh, and oh I'll tell you one other I'll show you one other part um, when you're putting your rack on get a picture of this rack here and you can kind of get a picture of the racks that I already have on it, they have a, a unique shape so and then there's a track right here at the back and a track right here at the bottom so what we're gonna do now is we have to level the next, you know, you have to level them. So I use the actual rack and I bolt this on here. And then I use this on here to make sure that it's level. Now, I don't have it bolted in, so you wanna bolt it in at the top on both sides and then use your level to make sure that those are straight across. That makes it nice. That's uh, that's the way I'm doing it. I hope that this helps you in your solar project. Good luck doing it yourself.